what are the benefits of the Shanka Prakshalana intestinal cleanse? Well, a huge list that I could only put a few on there. But what is it? What are the benefits? Why would I even consider this? Well, so many. I'll allow you to convince yourself. Uh, so in some of the ancient Ayurvedic texts, it's been known as to benefit, it dispels all sin as the sun dispels the fog. What does that mean? Well, sun is the solar plexus. Once you got rid of the gunk, the sun and the internal heat and in in digestive fire can dispel all the fog, all the gunk or the toxins, which inevitably results in brain fog. Would you like to dispel the sins of brain fog? Sure. So, what does it do? We'll get rid of the yucky stuff first, because it is a great way to do that. Five positions and a few liters of salt water with pink salt. Super easy. And keep in mind that, you know, put yourself in the place of a, a yogi in the Himalayan mountains. They don't want anything attachments. They want complete detachment and they want to be as close to God or Shiva as they can possibly be. So they know the purification and the benefits of a, a clean, healthy, fit and purified body can provide. So what they, how did they do it? They had salt available in the environment, they had water and they had consciousness and awareness and knowledge of how the body works and that's an, a fantastic combination that will absolutely skyrocket a person's health and wellness and then spiritual development so what's it going to remove well it's going to remove a lot of poison especially from the blood because when you get rid of the gunk that's been circulating in the blood in the lymphatic system then the lymphatic system doesn't have to work as much it can go to the next level of purifying the blood without all that extra effort hang on that's homeostasis and that means vibration increase cool removes toxins so a whole bunch of gunk we saw in our especially in our large intestine down in the lower abdomen it's always been a, a tricky area for for people to get rid of stuff we exercise heaps, but guess what? It doesn't work unless you actually remove it from the body. Trust me, I know. I started running up to 100 kilometer ultra marathons and lots of endurance activities, kayaks and adventure races in order to try to get rid of this stuff. Didn't work until I went within and removed it. Now, whoo, ah, removes parasites. Yeah, when you've got salt water flushing through, in a comfortable rate it will take out some toxins and some parasites because they're holding on but it's time for them to go and you can actually see some of them come out sometimes it's quite interesting watching uh, mucus plaque removal mucus plaque is essentially a toxin and parasite habitat so by doing a little a washing action to get a bunch of this mucus plaque that comes out gone wow that just means the body has less work to do to remove those toxins so then we're operating at a higher rate with much more clarity and much more energy we have less energy being used we can use it for other more beneficial things ah organ imbalances well everybody's got an organ imbalance or two unless they've active actively chose to heal themselves and fix them so when you remove all of the like as many toxins as are coming out from mouth to anus then the organs can therefore have a lot more freedom of movement that using the space that's been created to move whatever stuff that they've got and they can get out essentially you're just clearing the path you know, the first time if you go for a bushwalk and you're an explorer, you don't know where you're going. There's no path. It's quite tricky. It takes a lot longer. You know, you'll have to get the map out and the compass and chop your way through. But once that path is clear, the next person or the next bunch of toxins or the next uh, Im imbalances in the organs can just flow straight through. That way, we'll just go. 
it's about five times faster, if not ten. So it's simply energy efficient. Okay, childhood toy. We've actually had instances where people have swallowed a toy, a marble or a plastic toy of some sort from their childhood, say when they were seven. And by having a bit of a, a movement and some washing of salt water come through, it's been dislodged and then come out in its same shape because usually it's plastic. Now, I, you can only imagine how the body has had to adapt and to get around the intestines and whatever organ that, that was stuck around. And then of course the toxins and whatever stuff that was moved into that area that created that blockage. And then the wider emotional, mental and spiritual effects of that, who knows? But these people certainly have an expanded sense of clarity and, and feeling after going through this simple little intestinal cleanse. Gunk. Let's get gunk out. Because all it is is doing creating, co-creating our own problems. This gunk is usually the ones responsible for the emotional stuff, the outbursts, the, the habits that we don't like about ourselves. So let's just remove it. It's super simple. And what's it going to provide for us? Yucky stuff out? Well, it's going to reverse the aging rate. Because as we know, toxins are essentially doing so much extra work that our body has to go through extra energy to provide nothing. It's just extra effort for no real reward. So by getting rid of a lot of all this gunk, we have, all of a sudden have excess energy. Then our body can fix whatever we need to do, and our aging rate is slowed. You can see why I like to do this on a regular basis and share it so passionately because it's so simple. You just get rid of all sorts of yucky gunk. Oh, and of course, what is it going to provide? Clarity and a clear mind. Oh, I can only just... A clear mind when you just choose to turn it off is quite wonderful. Very few people get there because they don't clean this area. And we, as we know, our solar plexus and our, out in particular, is where our egoic self is stored. And when we have the gunk stored in our lower abdomen, then it's preventing us getting to our spiritual self in our sacral or our genital area. So then meditation is becomes possible once you start clearing these things out because the body is still it doesn't have as much work to do so therefore mental clarity can come and when you can actually meditate and still the mind with nothing going on then the messages come quite easily and then you just know what you have to do according to your soul's path hmm. handy emotional stability oh yeah don't we all want more emotional stability? Especially from those who don't have it, it really stands out and sometimes we don't want to be around them because it is harder to love an emotional inner child who's acting like a five-year-old even though they might be 55. It happens. And by removing a lot of the gunk and because the organ imbalances that are causing these emotional outbursts and occasions and experiences they've got a space to get rid of stuff so they can balance themselves and then well we have a lot more emotional control handy yeah i thought so too balance again once we've got a clear path the organs can balance and align themselves because they've now got extra energy and a clear space to do that balance yeah, how does that sound? Emotional, mental balance. You can just operate through your day comfortably, like not bothering about that person's emotional outbursts and their stuff that they're doing. Stay focused and on track and comfortable within yourself. Magic. Digestion. Significantly improves digestion. Because, again, you've got a path. The, digest the mucus plaque that is lining the intestinal wall is now clear and a lot of it's gone then there's more flow through through the intestinal tract and of course that means less energy used that means more energy for the things you want to do oh 
clear skin. So when you got rid of all the gunk, you know, it's like it's like a natural exfoli exfoliation for the gut, which therefore the liver and all the internal organs have less work to do, then the skin clears up. Pretty cool. And of course, that means that there's less gunk on coming through the skin, which radiates. And of course, that radiates through your body and your energy body. And then other people feel that. Yeah, that's a brilliant one. Uh, organ function. So, less work. Organs can go pump out more stuff at a higher rate. Then exercise becomes easier. Meditation, yoga, every activity that you want to do that's using a beautiful body becomes easier and more flowing because there's not that tension around in the solar plexus area. Uh, and presence. When we clear out our subconscious mind, it's a lot easier to stay focused and present. Because until someone actually does these sorts of things and fixes their digestion, it's not really possible for them to keep their attention here because there's so much going on here, which is the controller of the mind. And of course, the best result is a luminous shining body. Oh yeah, that one's fantastic. You'll see it, you see it very quickly when someone goes through this and they dump a whole lot of stuff that, hang on, like that pretty much straight away, but definitely the next day or two after, you, people come up to you and go, oh, hang on, your eyes are shinier, your skin is looking good. What did you, what have you been doing? And then someone says, oh, I did a shanker. A simple intestinal cleanse with some salt water, five positions, got rid of a whole lot of gunk, and now I'm feeling wonderful. Yeah, you can see those people around. You can just tell from their radiance and their luminous, or their luminosity. So, if that, is that enough benefits? There's much, much more. Because look, I could only fit so many on, on both sides. And for, for disease and benefits for that, which one of those ones are you dealing with or is your body preparing itself for or get coming towards? Because it essentially fixes lots of things. Like this is used in Ayurvedic and yogic hospitals all over India and it's been used for many thousands of years. So it's essentially a question of does an individual believe that they can heal themselves and more importantly, simply without Western medicine that doesn't work or is actually harmful. And will they take the action required to heal themselves or will they continue to suffer in futility and resist these simple ideas that clean their body, result in longer life and thriving? As always, an easy, simple choice up to the individual if they want to improve themselves. So for liver, well, the liver's in my mind, the most important organ in the body does all the work. It's like the, the factory and the warehouse put together. It does so much work, clearing out congestion and excess energy. That's it's the major detoxifying organ. So clearing out this area allows the liver to just function at a much higher rate to get rid of intoxication, congestion, and gallbladder stones which are all the results of stored toxins from, you know, when we used to drink and eat foods and things that we weren't educated on our diet and nutrition at certain stages in childhood and things. The spleen can fix anemia and blood stasis. Well, of course, if your blood's cleaner and moving around at a more comfortable rate without as many blockages, the spleen is more nurtured and can get rid of yucky stuff, it comes back to balance itself out. How's that sound? Ah, kidneys. Lots of people are dealing with kidney stones and renal problems, if they even know about it. When, we'll put it this way, if anyone's got any menstrual issues or 
any fertility problems or if not having amazingly super connected spiritual tantric sex then they've got renal issues and anyone who's drinking coffee and stimulants energy drinks not drinking enough water they're all going to have kidney problems and stones and parasites and things so chunk out a whole bunch of gunk allow the kidneys to regenerate themselves with some nurturing sound good the stomach well a lot of people have a lot of less stomach tone you know there's so much tension there from holding on to gunk that there's not a lot of flow so what happens when there's tension and blockages here well ulcers bacterial infections bad breath hernias the worst because if we don't sort out our, our gut bacteria, then we're going to have a lot of problems quickly too. Um, cancer. Yep. Every decent healthcare practitioner knows that cancer is entirely fixable, easily, naturally, and comfortably without Western medicated drugs. Everybody knows this if they have a clue what they're doing. It's just a question of the individual belief system. And if you haven't quite got there yet, send me a message. We'll do a couple of sessions with some information that will show us that Western society and medication and medical system are tricking us and playing mind control games because it's very easy to fix. And my mother died from leukemia, so this is why I do these things. I learn the lessons. So we've got to take the action to learn the lessons to get rid of it. So, for the back. Well, sciatica and varicose veins, because they're all essentially tension from sac uh, sacral joints. And by releasing all of this tension that is here, and all of this yucky gunk, then more energy can flow down to the legs. And of course the blood's purified, so the veins have a lot more easy flow, and it's much more comfortable. A lot of people are dealing with that one, aren't they? I'd say once I started doing these, cleansers, the shankers, and a couple of others as well, my back problems lightened up superbly. And as a result, the spinal alignment can come into play, you get more energy in the nervous system. And my exercise and my yoga practices just went whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Because when you've got less toxic energy required to do your activities, and you've got clean, clear energy, I started doing double the distances with half the training because my body was four times more efficient. And then you get the most out of your yoga practice and the most out of your exercise routine. Sound good? Extra performance. <laughs> yeah. And again, all from salt water and five positions, movement. The nervous system. Well, there's lots of people dealing with depression, irritability, hysteria, insomnia, hypertension. Well, essentially autoimmune and system problems because the system's always on the go there's always the nervous system moving around trying to see what's going on in the different organs and fix that and fix this this stuff too hard too much gunk in there get the gunk out the nervous system has a lot less work to do then it can move in the energy ways that it's meant to instead of dealing with all the organ imbalances and buzzing around. And of course that results in calm, centered and aligned without all this busyness that we're supposed to deal with if we still haven't figured that out. Makes meditation a lot easier, or actually possible. Uh, it's used in diabetes hugely. Uh, lots of people will go over to India and go to yogic and Ayurvedic hospitals to do these type of processes to get rid of these Western diseases that we've created and we know how to fix them, just that we're told that we don't. Really? Ah, appendicitis, same deal. Ah, uterus displacement. But it says we want you fully functioning and in your sexuality, sensuality and spirituality. Let's clear this stuff out so we can get centered and aligned and clear out these genital infections, which we all have, especially if we haven't fixed the digestion because the energy or the blood or the oxygen in the nervous system is too busy dealing with stuff up here. It hasn't quite got to down here. So by clearing this stuff out, 
and creating the path to get down to here, we can get rid of those guilt and shame, dark, heavy emotions, and actually start enjoying our, especially our tantric, sacred, spiritual sex life with joy and abandon. That sounds good, doesn't it? Right. Hopefully that's provided a little bit of uh, information and inspiration for you. So the multitude of benefits that doing something as simple as a shanka with salt water and five positions to wash through the intestinal tracts. And hey, I'll be doing another one tomorrow. Yeah, I'm gonna be my number 11. And I like to step people through them. It's super easy, super simple. A guide is helpful for the first time not 100% necessary, but it does require a lot of focus to keep going. And then you can go and do it yourself as much as you like. And keep growing spiritually and keep getting rid of gunk in about three hours. How easy is that? So, next video will be how to and all the details. All right.